Hey, it's Mike from Swissco.com, and today I'm going to show you how to replace an Acorn patio screen door corner and roller. For this project, I'll be working with a Swissco 95020 Acorn patio screen door corner and the 84016 screen door roller. The tools I'll be using are a drill and a 3 16th inch drill bit, hammer, flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, pliers, and a utility knife. Now, even if you don't have this exact corner, the concept in this video is generally the same for most screen door corners. Let's get started. Once your door is removed from the frame, lay it on a flat surface like a workbench or table. In order to access the corners inside the frame, we will need to work without restriction. This means removing your screen spline and screen from the door frame. Use a utility knife or a pair of pliers to lift the spline up and then remove the screen from the door frame. Doing this will allow us to pull the frame apart and replace the corners. Now before we can remove the original corners from the frame, we need to remove the rollers that are attached to the corners. First, you will want to loosen the adjustment screw and then release your roller. I like to use a Phillips head screwdriver in order to spread the roller housing away from the corner. Now it's time to remove the corners. This particular frame was punched in to keep these corners in place, so to loosen them up, I'm going to take a drill and a 3 16 inch drill bit and drill just enough into the punch mark to release the pressure on the corners. Most of the time, you should be able to remove the corner from the frame by knocking it out with a hammer and screwdriver or pulling it out with pliers. If your corner is broken in the frame, you may need to knock it into the frame to get it out of the way. This will not affect the operation of the screen door. Once your corners are out of the way, it is now time to install your new ones. Be sure to install your new corners with the roller attachment facing the opening in the frame. Use a hammer to tap in your new corners, and then tap your frame back together. Now you can install your new rollers. Lastly, you can rescreen your frame at home or you can take it to a local hardware store to have it done by a professional. And remember, if you have questions on how to replace this specific screen door corner or on any other hardware, we have experts ready to answer your questions online at swissco.com forward slash help. Thank you for watching.